Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transfer Truck Trailer RV here in beautiful Frederick, Colorado. It's your truly Marlon Bledman and today behind me we have our second 2022 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hauler Conversion. This one is on hold right now for a customer but again if anything falls through I will let you guys know um, if this becomes available again. But again we're going to take a walk around this unit. If you guys have any comments, please put underneath the uh, comments below. And of course, we'll kind of point out everything that's visible so I could show you guys. And of course, let's not wait any further and let's walk around this beautiful Viper Red M2 106 Summit Hauler Conversion. First off, we're going to look at the front end of this unit. We do have the Summit Hauler Grill, made by the C9 company. Of course, it is a Freightliner, so you have that Freightliner badge. As we come down, we have more chrome here, and of course, we got that three-piece bumper. Again, the reason why Freightliner does that, if in case you are in an accident or this well, any of the three is damaged, you could change its part individually. This one does come with tow hooks, and as you see, the bottom end of this bumper is all painted to match this truck. On the 2022s, we do have the LED lights, and those are all bright white. As we open up the hood, we got two straps on either side of the hood, and of course this handle in the center. As we open it up, we're gonna take a look at the engine. And again, guys, you are looking at a 2022. So what you guys are looking at right now is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine and it's also partnered with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission, six speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 360 horsepower and about 1,150 foot pounds of torque. One good thing about this Freightliner engine, everything is clearly labeled. Again, straight up front, you can see here the fuel filter water separator right here of course you got your power steering fluid and as you go around the engine everything is clearly labeled so you guys could see as we come around checking out the tires we do have brand new michelin of course guys it's a brand new truck so we have michelin tires on here those are 25580 r22.5s and as you see right between those rims, we have our famous auto balancers. And what that does, it has BBs inside. While you're driving, it will allow you, it will allow the vehicle to balance itself. And of course, saves you wear and tear on your tires. So your tires will last longer having those in there. As we continue, we have your engine block heater down here. Our new design when it comes to the steps. Right now we do have the compartment that would lock your fuel tank and your dev tank. So we do have two 50 gallon dev tanks, one on either side, and I'll show you where the other one is. So this one is 50 and of course you have your six gallon dev tank on here. All those will be filled up before delivery. And of course, everything is in working condition before it leaves our lot. We did put it through our service department um, and we do a pre-delivery inspection. Check, make sure everything was working, all lights, no air leaks, and the works. Of course, this compartment does lock, so you have a key to unlock this and lock it as you go. This one does come with a trickle charger for your batteries. And they're all 110 plugins. Your batteries are located underneath the back seat so that's why the trickle charger is here and let me point out one more thing if you come back up front because the batteries are located underneath that back seat we do have our positive and negative studs located right in front of the the front tires and of course if you want to jump or need to be jumped uh, those studs are located right here very easy to access so those are, those will be located underneath the hood as I close this hood, no hands, it will do a soft close. And of course, if you want it to go a little faster, 
you could just give it a little touch. And of course, remember to tie down both ends of that hood before driving away. We added more lighting on that truck. Of course, we do have a CB radio antenna pre-wired. We don't have a CB radio inside. We do not have a CB radio inside, but it is pre-wired if you decide to put a CB radio in there. Let's start off with the driver's seat before we head to the back. Our new design on the door with our Summit Holler logo down here. And of course, you got four speakers on each, a speaker on each door. And of course, we got that carbon fiber look on the interior. And this is all dipped. Your key, all front seats are air ride. And you guys can see the two tone leather seats on this truck. And if you guys, if you just pan on that front seat for me. Look how comfortable that seat looks. And it is super comfortable when you sit on it. <clears throat> the front seat do come heated. So it does have a high and low setting. So the bottom here with that one little streak, uh, it's low and all the way up is high. Center will be off. So of course it is air ride, like I said. The steering wheel, you could tilt it any way you want by pushing down on this. But of course, you'll be sitting in here. You will kick this down and this will allow you to go up and down and forward and backwards. So uh, let me jump in to show you guys what I mean. <clears throat> when I kick this up, I could go like this, up, down, up and side to side. So very easy. To control, let's go to the back seat. Of course, we still had that two-tone in the back seat as well. This bench does turn into a bed, so your switch is right on the door, and that will allow you to have the seat go all the way. This is the one the uh, seat belt to get in the way. So as you guys can see, the seat goes all the way flat. So that creates a nice little rest area. So it turns into a bed. Get your blankets out, your pillows, and take a nice rest. Underneath the seat, we do have a sub underneath the seat with an amplifier. Great sound. I'll bring the seat all the way up. And of course, like I said, we got speakers on each door of this truck. Storage. We do have a large storage compartment here. And this one does come equipped with an airline. So if you guys decide to put air in your tires, in your trailer, you have that airline right here. All you guys will need is a hose to connect. And then you could go ahead and it is pretty, pretty wide and deep as well. And of course you have that diamond plate in here. All those doors locked as well. So you can store your items in here and lock it up. Again, those are dual tires. So you have four tires in the back. I know some, some of my customers said they couldn't see too well. So we're just going to pan on here a little bit. So we do have those dual tires and of course we also have those auto balancers in the back of that truck but between those tires as well. As we continue more lighting all around. We do have a BMW turnover ball hitch to turn to use that or to remove the ball. There is a metal handle right here you pull on it and of course that will release the ball and you push it back and the ball will be and of course you have your two chain hooks so when you hook up your trailer you can connect that right here you got your seven pin hook up here for your trailer 
Down here you have a Voyager camera connector. So right now we only have one camera on this unit right now. But if you want to add an additional three cameras to the unit, you can. The Voyager adapter in the back allows you to connect a camera from your trailer straight into this and straight into the screen. So you will have to have the correct system to run through that connector to be able to show on the screen. We do have a 20,000 pound bumper hitch. We do have a switch inside that will turn on those two lights here and the two white lights up here. And that's to give you extra lighting at night if you decide to hook up your trailer at night and you want to see what's going on. Before, only the two top lights used to come on. Now we have four lights in the back here if you decide to work at night and need more lighting. The tracks on this diamond plate is tie down straps. We do have a center one on this truck and we do have those straps included with this truck and of course the tie down chain hooks as well. All right, so let's take a look inside. I did mention we have the other 50 gallon tank over here. And again, all those compartments outdoor could be locked if needed. When we go inside, let's pan to all the charging ports we got in the center. And I had that question yesterday about entertainment system on this truck. So we don't put a DVD player on this because a lot of people now is into iPads and phones and all that. So we decided to add more charging into this unit. So you got a, you got two 12 volts here. We got this little cap here. We got two 110 plugins. And of course, we have about four USB charging ports here. So you got tons of charging in the back here. Cup holder right in front of there. And I'm gonna jump in front. All right, so this truck is fully air brakes. So you have your parking brake switch right here. If you do decide to add air brakes to, if you have a trailer with air brakes, this is already pre-wired for that. All you guys have to do is find a spot to put the glide hands and you are ready to go with your trailer air brakes. Let's start up here. You got your cruise control. You got your marker light, marker indicator. Coming down here, you got your region button, your manual region button, all your power windows, power locks, heated mirrors. You do have a rear air dump for your for the rear end of the truck. So when you are backing into your trailer, all you guys got to do is press this. It will release all the air in the in the back of the truck. You hook up to your trailer once you're done. You release that button, all the air will come back on that trailer, on that truck, the back end of the truck. There is a safety feature on this. Once you turn this on, it will beep at you constantly until you release the air to come back to the rear of the truck. If you're alone driving and you want to test all your lights, make sure your trailer lights work, all the truck lights work. There is a light test button. Once you press this button, it will load up. So it will take a few seconds before it actually start blinking all the lights. Once that is set, all the lights will blink at the same time, except those four white lights I showed you guys earlier. Those will not come on on the light test. And of course, this is the switch to turn on those four lights. So if you want to turn those on while you're doing your light test, you could do that. If not, you could turn that off and of course use that light test button. We do have rare AC and heat. So if we could just pan on those vents we have up here. 
So those you can adjust as needed. And with the blue on this switch is for cold air and the red is for hot air. Center is to turn off. The fan, it has three levels. Low, center is medium, all the way up is high. So low, medium, high. Hot, cold, off. And of course we have an additional four USB plugins here. We also have a USB plug in here that will control everything. Once you plug in your phone here, it will show up on this Stinger stereo system. This is our new Stinger stereo we have on our Summit haulers now. Those does have Apple and Android capability. This one does come equipped with navigation, FM, AM radio, satellite radio, and of course, just a great look, nice big screen, very easy to, to work. All your AC controls for the main cab is right down here. We do have a sub control for the sub hoof underneath the seat. So right now, the sub is all the way down and of course you could adjust it as needed. I'm a young guy, I love music. <laughs> I will always leave my, my sub on high because I mean, everybody loves bass. Well, a lot of young people love uh, bass. We do have a new chiller brake system. This one is the Red Arc. We have all the manuals. We do have some easy videos to show you how this works, but it's very easy and simple system. Right above that, we have our engine brake. This one is the J brake and it does have two settings, a low and a high setting. Center is off, down, three, three cylinders will kick in. All the way up, all six cylinders will kick in on this engine brake. Over here we have our Allison six-speed automatic transmission. Very easy, foot on the brake, reverse, release the parking brake, neutral, D for drive, and it is a six-speed automatic. We do our more cup holders here. We got a hidden cup holder right here for your passenger. And of course, tons of storage in here. You got a first aid kit. You got some additional fuse boxes, fuse, uh, fuses for the truck. Up here, we got storage. We got awesome lighting in here. We do have our Voyager camera systems screen up here. This one does come with a, um, dual air horn, so there is your air horn release. We do have a regular horn in this, and it's the center of this steering wheel. Up here, we got some awesome lighting. Let me just turn this truck on for a second. And check out this infinity light. I keep on calling it infinity light, but it's a mood light, and then that creates a nice ambience when you're driving at night or if you just pulled over on the side of the road just want to relax this is a nice little feature we added on here we do have reading lights as well you can turn those off mood lights turn off and then we have two auxiliary switches this one if you decide to add another light in here and the auxiliary switch is just an off switch again if you guys have any questions feel free feel free to Give me a call. Let me just show you guys what that Voyager camera system looks like on. And look at the view. It's a wide view. So when you, even when you have your trailer hooked up on this truck, you could actually see on either side of your trailer as well, depending on what kind of load you have. But check out the view and how wide of a view it is. Again, you could add an additional three cameras to this unit. And that's an option you have. So right now I've had customers asking to add more cameras to this. There is a back order on a lot of cameras and a lot of uh, stuff for this. So if in case you can find it, it's very easy to install. Normally your local car areas could do that, like car toys and Autoplex and all those different companies out there that would be able to hook up those cameras for you. In the meantime, this is a brand new 2022 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hollow Conversion. This one is on hold, like I said earlier, for a customer. 
679 miles. We do, do do deliveries at a cost. We could do anywhere around the United States. If you guys are interested, we'll give you a quote. We did mention that we would have units coming in one every week, but we do have a delay on those trucks coming in because of parts being delivered to our conversion company on time. So we do have a delay right now, but we do have a few of those trucks still available for order. It will take a little bit longer than we expected. So hopefully you guys understand that There's, it's out of our control right now. So hopefully we could get those back on track and keep on getting those once a week. But in the meantime, call us if you have a color preference. We'll tell you what colors we have available and what truck is on the market. I know we have about four of them already pre-sold. So in the meantime, we'll let you know what's out there, what we have coming in and what our expected completion date is. That will not be solid once we tell you guys that. They might have a hiccup like we are having now. So bear with us and we'll bring you more Summit Haulers. You guys could contact me at 303-684-3412 or text or call me on my cell at 661-755-4344. Or you guys could also email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com. If you guys want any more information, feel free, contact me, and of course, we'll make a deal happen. In the meantime, you guys just looked at a 2022 Viper Red M2106 Summit Hollow Conversion. See you guys next time. Thank you.